Welcome, everybody, in another episode of the Wrestling vs. the World podcast. If you're enjoying today, great. If not, well, then I have a feeling people are not going to enjoy this one, depending on which side of the fence you're swinging on. And I don't mean that in terms of sexuality. I'm talking about, in terms of today's subject matter, Finn Balor. Because I have lost count of how many times I've seen people hype up this guy, and to this day, they're still hyping up this guy for whatever reason. This guy has been on, started NXT, I don't know what year, like I said, I barely see any of his NXT stuff. I'll see, like, I've seen maybe one or two matches, and that's it. But in terms of the guy overall, I don't care about him whatsoever, and I don't get why everybody is so hyped up on this guy. Like, it is absolutely nauseating. Like, this guy's been on the main roster since 2016, he had a case where he went back to NXT for a little while. He turned heel. He had, instead of a C for the Prince, you had like a red X, whatever the hell that's supposed to be about. But on the main roster, all I've heard is people overrating him. Like, he, people keep saying, like, anytime he freaking loses any matches or gets beaten down, people freak the fuck out. If you want examples, and I urge you all to do this, if you're on YouTube... Make sure you have, like, this extension downloaded on your web browser for YouTube so where you can see dislikes on videos. Go to any video on WWE's YouTube channel where Finn Balor loses a match or gets beaten down or anything, and you will see dislikes out the ass. Because people are that freaking butthurt whenever Finn Balor either gets beaten down or loses any matches whatsoever. Like, it's the end of the world, and it's the whole, Oh, he should leave WWE, he's being wasted, uh, and all that freaking recycle nonsense like seriously what is it about this guy that makes people care about him i have not seen anything on the main roster that made me look at this guy and say to myself i give a shit about him the only thing he's got going for him are his entrance and the paint designs for when he's doing the whole demon persona outside of that what is there to this guy why should i care about finn balor He's, like, he's described as being an extraordinary man who does extraordinary things. What's so extraordinary thing, extraordinary about him? Is he exceptionally strong? Does he have all these great reversals to, like, escaping submission holds or preventing certain moves being done on him in different ways? Is he, like, is he insanely flexible? Is he impervious to pain or anything like that? Like, I have not seen anything that helps him live up to this moniker as the extraordinary man who does extraordinary things. I've never heard him cut a great promo. Like, there's even one going around on Twitter again where he was himself in the OC that fit, or freaking Carl Anderson, Lou Gallows, and he's stummer, stammering along on a promo. He's like, oh, we have a word for this guy, Jason Jordan. It's, uh, uh, what's that word? Uh, uh, and it's just like, really? I don't know what word they were freaking looking for, but it's clear Finn Balor didn't know either because he was stammering so badly. Like, I don't, I don't see the hype behind this guy. I don't get it. Every time he ever loses a match or has a segment on YouTube where he gets beaten down, people freak the fuck out like it's the end of the world. Let's remember something here, folks. Not everybody in wrestling is freaking can be booked to be impervious to everything. You're not, there. not everybody's The Undertaker or Kane or Bitch or Mark Henry so on and so forth. Not everybody is going to be booked as a big, dominant, I can't be hurt type of monster type of character, especially when you look like Finn Balor, all right? This guy does not have the same physique as a freaking giant that you see dominating in wrestling. Like I said, the only thing this guy's got going for him are his entrance and the body paint when he's the demon persona. But now look at, look at normal Finn Balor. Talk about, like, the way he is now. No body paint outside of the leather jacket and the uh, stuff. What is his character? When you look at normal old human babyface Finn Balor, how would you describe him in terms of his character? I mean, I mean go ahead, try to explain it because I can't freaking describe him at all. Like, you look, a good character is one that I feel is one you can describe. Like, you can explain who they are. Like, you look at Stone Cold Steve Austin. He's this beer drinking, anti authority kick-ass redneck that sounds like a perfectly accurate way to describe the texas rattlesnake stone cold steve austin you can describe him you look at um 
Look at The Undertaker for his original form. He was more like this undead zombie who's impervious to pain, and eventually he started to evolve his character. He became more like a mortician. Then he eventually, he had a whole case where he was a freaking cult leader. He was a freaking motorcycle-wearing American proud badass, so on and so forth. You can describe these different characters and everything. You get Bray Wyatt, the original one, like, before he became The Fiend, he was this spooky, dark cult leader. I think is the best way to describe him. I mean, he did that whole spooky thing better than Waylon Mercy. But you look at Finn Balor. Normal human, no body paint, Finn Balor. How would you describe his character? Because I honestly don't see any defining characteristics or anything that makes him as a character stand out compared to anybody else. He doesn't cut these amazing promos. He doesn't have any of these amazing freaking storylines or anything that does involve him having to freaking be all spooky. So it's like, how would you describe Finn Balor, who comes out there wearing a leather jacket, standing on the apron, pointing his crotch out to the crowd, and being like, Oi, fella, come suck me dick, fella. Like, what's his character? I... He, He's just boring. And plus, like, you look at his freaking moveset, how many of his moves involve kicks? Drop kick, Pele kick, kick to the freaking stomach. You gotta, he's kicking somebody in the corner, that coup de gras, which is like, I'm not impressed by the finisher either. I mean, for God's sake, we saw freaking Spike Dudley do that move as a finisher too before. You saw freaking, Alberto Del Rio did a better job doing the move he needed the opponent tied up in the corner. Because at least there's an impact there, because, like, they're hanging up there so they get hit with that double foot stomp, they also got to come down from a certain height out of the corner too, so there's more impact there. With Finn, he's just jumping on somebody. It doesn't look impressive as a finisher. It's just like, I don't I don't get it. What is it about this guy that makes people salivate over him? Like, or whenever he loses a match or getting beaten down in a segment on in a YouTube video, people freaking lose their minds and keep saying he's getting buried, he needs to leave WWE, he's being wasted. I don't see anything special about this guy. I don't get why people freak out so badly over him to the point where they want to have freaking, like, fan fictions or anything about him. In fact, I probably just inspired people to make fan fictions just by mentioning that. Which, yeah, it's rather disturbing. But it's like, I don't get it. Why do people care about this guy? Like I said, outside of his entrance and the body paint, what is there to him to care about? What does he do that makes himself live up to that nickname of the extraordinary man who lives up to, or who does extraordinary things? I mean, you gotta remember, this guy's not perfect. He, like, within a month of him debuting on the main roster, he got injured in the match at SummerSlam against Seth Rollins. And already, and he was the first Universal Champion. And people are saying, like, oh, he could do so much more. It's like, he's a Universal Champion. He's been United States Champion, Air Canal Champion. The only thing he hasn't done is become a Tag Champion. That's it. I mean, I'm not gonna count the Universal Championship, because that's, that's gonna be held by Roman for quite a while. Again. I mean, and plus, he's not going to be believable as WWE champion, to be, to be honest. But it's like, this guy's just boring. Boring old Finn Balor. I find Sheamus to be more an, an interesting Irish man than this guy. It's just like, I don't get it. Why do people freak out and care about this guy to the point where they freak out whenever he loses and keep throwing around the burial card? I mean, this whole burial thing started, I think, after the night after TLC in 2017 when he got when he lost a match on Raw to freaking Kane, and that's where it all freaking started. Because, like, a shitload of dislikes, people leave in the comments, Oh, and easily WWE's being wasted, buried, uh! Like, I, I, stuff like this is making me care, like, not like this guy at all. Like, remember, people, the freaking, the response to the fan base, from the fan base towards a wrestler or anything can kind of help sway people on whether or not they're going to care about him. If you see somebody who like, looks like Finn Balor and you see his fans freaking out over anything involving him, it's not going to leave a good impression on the fans that don't really know who this guy is. I mean, it's been six years since he's been on the main roster. I doubt I'll ever have a reason to get behind him. At all. So anyway, let me know y'all thought in the comment section below. What do you think of Finn Balor? If anybody likes him, give me a reason to care about him. Because I don't see the hype. I don't get why people freak out so emotionally when he loses, when anything bad happens to him booking-wise. I mean, he's not impervious to pain. He can't always win. He can't freaking come back and do a whole Super Cena comeback when he's getting beaten down like five on one. But then again, he would, if that happened in a dark alley, he'd probably like it. Uh, 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 uh.
Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, comment below what you thought, subscribe to the bell, turn on if you're watching this on YouTube, or freaking follow if you're listening to this on any other service, and I'll catch you all later. Thanks for listening, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out, and good day, everybody.